News media outlets have been telling us for decades that robots will make our lives easier. You want to see something that's really out of this world? Meet Robert. The Miami Herald in 1990 promised that robot butlers were on the horizon. The Chicago Tribune in 1998 said that robots will be invading our homes soon. But after decades of these failed promises, in reality, all we got were vacuum robots that accidentally spread pet poop around our floors. And robots that don't know how to see a freaking curb on the road or ones that don't know where railroad tracks are apparently. And with the AI hype going off the hook over the last two years, you'd think some AI robot messiah would come down from the heavens and arrive on our doorsteps any day now. One that you could buy at your nearest Target or Walmart. One that could find the damn TV remote for you. One that can cook me a meal that's the equivalent to at least a crappy Chipotle burrito. Or one that just tells me I'm a good person. When my wife loses her shit when I don't close the shower curtain after I'm done. If you're married, you know what I mean. So please, for the love of God, when are the AI robots going to show up and solve all of my stupid and tedious problems and the rest of the world's problems? I'm getting old and I don't have another two decades to wait around for these technological breakthroughs. By the end of this video, I'll answer my own question and let you know when you'll be able to buy your first AI robot and how they'll make your life much easier compared to today. Plus, you'll find out how much one of these robots will cost. Hint, it's a lot of money. AI robot and robot companies are popping up out of the woodwork faster than Raising Cane's franchises in Ohio. That's hard to do. I'm telling you, those things are everywhere. Tesla's Optimus robot launched in 2021 and went from a cringe human dress robot to a robot that can do basic cooking on its own. The robot from Figure AI, which launched just over a year ago, went from a prototype that could barely walk to a robot that can learn how to put car parts together on the spot completely on its own. So as you can see, robot technology is moving along quickly, and that's all because of breakthroughs in visual-based AI learning. In the good old days, before ChatGPT and visual-based AI learning became a thing, most robots in self-driving cars, for that matter, were trained on rules-based technology, meaning computer programmers would have to write thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of lines of computer code to give a robot its brains. Code that would tell the robot exactly what to do in any given scenario. In the past, if you needed a robot to clean your dishes, most likely your robot would need custom computer code to do that simple task. Code that would tell the robot the exact location coordinates of your dishwasher and the precise position of your dishes and plates in your home. If it didn't have these position points, your plates would be thrown all over the floor like some drunken idiot. And that's just half the battle. Rules-based robots need a whole slew of other logic programmed into them. For instance, someone needs to program how each finger on the robot's hand should operate in any given scenario. And that gets complicated really quick. But all of this complex coding became outdated almost overnight. That's because visual-based AI learning started to become incredibly good. Now, robots can literally look at anything and figure out how it works just by observing it. Think Raymond Babbitt-level smarts from the movie Rain Man. Here's a real-world example of visual-based learning in action. And before I get into this, just know this. I absolutely despise paid parking. I mean, it's an absolute government racket. Just Google how the city of Chicago sold their streets. If that doesn't piss you off, you might want to check your pulse. Anyways, if you park your car on the street and there are five plus signs telling you when you can and can't park for free, just take a picture of that sign salad, upload it to ChatGPT, and let it do its work. It will use visual-based AI learning, not rules-based, to tell you the exact times you can park for free. No more worrying that your car is going to be towed to some shady neighborhood by the cops. It's this power of visual-based learning alone why robots have become exponentially smart this last year. And if it weren't for this, you'd probably have to wait another 20 years before you get AI robot butlers in your homes. So you might be thinking, when will robots be available to buy them? Well, Elon Musk thinks you should be able to purchase them in 2026. Recently, he stated, Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production 
for Tesla internal use next year, hopefully high production for other companies in 2026. But there's one glaring problem with this statement. Musk is terrible at forecasting product launches. In 2019, he said, I feel very confident predicting autonomous robotaxis for Tesla next year. He predicted there would be 1 million Tesla robotaxis on the road by 2020. We all know how that prediction went. It was a miserable failure. So if we play it safe and add five years to the 2026 timeline, an AI butler should be available to purchase from Tesla by 2031. But just keep this in mind. Other robot companies like Boston Dynamics and Figure could beat them to the punch. The good news about this 2031 timeline is that it's way better than waiting another 30 years like what was promised from the legacy newspapers in the 90s. I can't wait that long anyways. I'm too old and ancient and I don't have time to wait for another 30 years. By then, I'll need a robot nurse for my hospice care or a robot to help put my coffin in the ground. So let's pretend now for a moment that it's the year 2031. Your new robot arrives on your doorstep like the major award from the movie The Christmas Story and it ends up revolutionizing your life. You'll never have to wash your clothes, clean your house, cook your food, or do errands ever again. You want a margarita while you sit on your couch and doom scroll YouTube all day? Simple. Just give your AI butler named Botson your order. He'll do it with a smile and even add salt to the rim of your drink. And don't worry about tipping either. Get in a fight with your wife and need to apologize to her? Easy. Just have Botson write you a handwritten apology note for you. Not that I would ever need to do that. Pretty much anything you can think of will be possible with AI robots. It's not just me saying that either. An Oxford research study determined that a significant amount of household chores will be outsourced to AI robots within the coming years. So get ready, because the next 10 years is going to be wild. Chores are going to be thought of as some ancient thing your grandparents did back in the day. Because of that, our entire world is going to be even more spoiled and entitled than ever before, even if that seems impossible right now. And if you're lucky enough to be able to purchase one of these robots, they should sell for around twenty dollars to $30,000, or about half the cost of a new car. So start saving up now, or just put it on a credit card when the time comes. I mean, that's what everybody does nowadays anyways. Who cares about being fiscally responsible? Whatever the case, let's just hope that robots actually become available before I hit the nursing home. That's it for tonight. If you wanna learn more about interesting AI perspectives, check out my other vid, AI's Ticking Time Bomb. Taiwan. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.